These are my foundation palettes. Um, I use, for just to equal up the skin tone, I use brown tones first, like speckled out, and then I'll go over it with her tone. So that way the white latex isn't so bright, it's more realistic looking. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna paint the inside first while the outside is still drying. Um, I'm using these, these are alcohol activated paints. You have, they can only be activated with 99% alcohol, 50 won't do, 75, 93, those won't work, it has to be 99. And I really like them. I like that you can get them as translucent as you want them. You can really build the pigmentation, which is nice. And they, when they dry, they like look like they're setting, like they're sitting under the skin. It doesn't look like it's on top. It looks natural. I like these for bruises, veins, the works. I love them. Spray a little. This is 99. We're gonna take one of these sponges, one of these orange sponges. I like these for texture mostly. And I'm going in with a nice red, it's called blood tone. It's pretty accurate, it's just red. I'm gonna go in the middle area, like in between these. And if it gets on there, that's fine, wipe it off. It's whatever. And if it gets on the sides of these, that's great. It gives it an edge of realism, about as realistic as this gets. <laughs> and I'm just taking the very corner, and I'm going in, and I'm doing light layers, and then I go in and I build my coverage. right here is the perfect vein color. If you mix this with like this, it's the perfect vein color. I don't know, it's magic, it's amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm putting some alcohol activate paint in a cup. It'll spray, there we go. I'm gonna need to buy more, great. And I'm taking just a small detail brush and I'm mixing it in. And I'm gonna take the color bone because that's what we're painting next. We're painting the bones. And I'm just gonna clean up. I'm going to go over them, and I'm using more pigment and less alcohol, making it a little thicker. So it's less of a watercolor and more of an acrylic if you're an artist, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. If you don't have these, to clean up your edges, you can always use a pale foundation and then water down with 99% alcohol. That will also work. Makeup is very versatile. And if you don't have the reds, if you can't get your hands on these palettes, you can use lipsticks. You can use eyeliners for your shading or lip liners. Never, you're never isolated by what you have. You can make anything with anything. And I want to get right up along the edges of these lovely things, of lovely ligaments. So we're going to go in with the aged blood and a tiny little bit of bruise tone to give it a little bit of variation.
making a texture sponge like this. This one has bigger holes. There's a couple different texture sponges. There's this one with really small holes, which if you want like a really like a nice like, like tight texture. This one, I use this for stubble and facial hair. And also for like tint skin texture and stuff like that. And this one, oh, this is my baby. This is the stuff, it like gives a really gross, disgusting texture. Also, it gives like a, if you can't get your hands on sea sponge, this is also a really good alternative. I like this stuff too. Ew, it looks so real. <laughs> So I'm taking the foundation on the texture sponge and I'm just going to just sipple it on and blend it with my finger. Really light. Not a ton. You don't need a ton. This is closer to her skin tone, and I'm gonna go over it with that. But we're gonna make it a little bit more opaque, so I'm going with a bit of a, like a regular foundation sponge. Going in, back in with the the Necromania palette, and I'm gonna go with a little bit of Vile Bile, which is the most disgusting them ever. Ooh. Yeah, it's gross. It's like a nasty green color. That's what they call it, Vile Bile. Yeah, they ooh, they have some interesting names. 